Assalamualaikum and hello. How are you? I am Puan Nur Husnia binti Muhammad Yusof from SK Taman Melati, Kuala Lumpur. Today, we have Puan Fatimata Zahra binti Osman from SK Putrajaya, Presen 181 as our sign language interpreter. Today, we are going to learn about mass and its units. What are these? Yes, very good. They are measuring instruments. We use measuring instruments such as digital weighing scale, traditional weighing scale, baby weighing scale, and balance scale to determine the mass of an object. In this lesson, we are going to use a weighing scale to measure the mass of an object. Mass has two units, which are kilogram and gram. Say it with me. Kilogram. Again, kilogram. Very good. And the other unit, gram. Again, gram. Marvelous. Again, what are the two units of mass? Kilogram and gram. Yes, very good. Let's continue. Symbol of kilogram is written as kg and it is written in small letters. Kilogram is the unit of mass used for heavy object. Symbol of gram written as G and it is written in small letter. Gram is the unit of mass used for light object. Here, I have two fruit. Which one is heavy? Marvelous! Watermelon is heavier than strawberry. So, we use kilogram to measure the mass of watermelon. What about strawberry? The strawberry is lighter than the watermelon. So, we use gram to measure the mass of strawberry. Okay, now we have a rat and a cow. Which unit of mass is suitable for a rat? Can you guess? Right, it is grams. What about the cow? Exactly, kilogram. Very good. Now, we are going to measure the mass of an object using a weighing skill. Let's measure the mass of this chicken. Look at the needle on the face of weighing skill. It is pointing at number 3. Now, look at the unit of mass written on the face of weighing scale. Kg. What is kg, Kuma? Good. Kilogram. Is it written in small letter or capital letter? 
Very good. You have sharp eyes. It is written in small letter. Now, let's put all the information together. What is the mass of the chicken? The needle is pointing at number 3. And the unit is kilogram. So, the mass of the chicken is 3 kilograms. And it can be written as 3 kg. Let's find the mass for this ice cream. The needle is pointing at 500. And the unit shown on the weighing scale face is G. What is the mass of the ice cream? Exactly, it is 500 grams. And it can be written as 500 G. Now, you can differentiate between the mass of the chicken and the mass of the ice cream. The chicken is measured in kilogram. It is heavier than the ice cream. Therefore, the ice cream is measured in gram. So, we can say a unit of kilogram is used to measure heavier object, whereas gram is used for lighter object. This is a jar of sweets. Let's determine its mass. Remember the step. Look at the needle. The needle is pointing at 800. And the unit stated on the weighing scale face is G. What is the mass of the jar of sweet? Yes, it is 800 grams. So, the mass of jar of sweet is 800 grams. Now, let's determine the mass of the pumpkin. The needle is pointing at number 1. And the unit stated on the wing skill face is kg. What is the mass of the pumpkin? Awesome! The mass is 1 kilogram. Or it can be written as 1 kg. We use gram for a jar of sweets and kilogram for the pumpkin. Can you tell me why? Good! A jar of sweets is lighter than the pumpkin. Let's try a simple quiz. Which unit of mass is suitable for the following object? Which unit of mass is suitable for hammer? Hammer is a heavy object. 
kilogram. Correct. What about the bulb? Yes, gram. But why? Very good. The bulb is lighter. Okay. Next is the candle. Is the candle lighter or heavier than hammer? Correct. It is lighter. So, which unit of mass is suitable for the candle? Very good. Gram. What about pineapple? It looks like a heavy object. So, which unit of mass is suitable for pineapple? Good. Kilogram. Last object, the crayon. Is it light or heavy? Yes, it is light. Which unit of mass is suitable for crayon? Very good. The unit of mass suitable for the crayon is gram. So, today... We have learned the unit of mass which are kilogram and gram. Do you still remember the symbol used for kilogram and gram? Exactly. Kg and G. And they are written in small letters. Kilogram is the unit of mass suitable for heavy objects such as a bicycle and a car. Gram is the unit of mass suitable for light objects such as balloons and pencils. Okay. That is all for today. Thank you and see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.